In this video, we are going to factor quadratic trinomials x squared plus bx plus c, and I would like to introduce my favorite method because this method eliminates guess and check and um, also works for all the cases. For example, a coefficient can be 1 or can be any other number. So I'm going to introduce this method by using some particular example, and here is 12x squared minus 5x minus 2, which we will have to factor. And factoring, let me remind you, is changing addition or subtraction, in this case subtraction, into the product. And the first thing to think about is about GCF. Can we factor something out? And in this case, turns out there is no common factor for all three terms, so we don't have to be worried about the GCF. And uh, we suspect uh, this to be factored into two binomials. So here I have two quantities, and I do know that the first term of each of them is going to contain variable x, because x times x is going to give me x squared. Next thing to do is to think about a, b, and c coefficients, and uh, here they are, a equals 12, b equals negative 5, and c equals negative 2. Next thing is to prepare a very convenient device, which I called uh, the snowflake. So here is a snowflake, which is going to help us to organize our work. Next thing is to uh, put right here on this spot a times c. So what is a? It's 12. c is negative 2. So negative 24 is going on this spot. Now, on this spot right below this, uh, simply goes b coefficient. b coefficient is negative 5. And negative 5 is right here. Now, next thing is to think about what two numbers, we are going to put them right here. What two numbers? If you multiply them, it's going to give you negative 24. If you add them up, them, it's negative 5. And a little chart like this is going to help us. So on this chart, I'm going to put negative 24. And to remind myself that um, I'm looking for two numbers that are going to uh, the product of which is going to give me negative 24. I put the multiplication sign here. And let's think about the factors of negative 24. So 1 times negative 24 definitely give me negative 24. Or negative 24 times 1. What else can I think about? 12 times negative 2 or negative 2 times 12. Uh, also, it can be 3 and negative 8 or negative 8 and 3. Oops, I have 5 here. I don't know why. Let me change it. Okay. So uh, now we have to analyze. Uh, all those are factors, but we are looking for something uh, which is going to give me, uh, the, uh, we are looking for the pair which is going to give me negative 5. Uh, the sum of them is negative 5. Negative 1 plus negative 24 doesn't work. All this doesn't work, but I do see one of the pair which is 3 and negative 8, which is going to add up to negative 5. So, I'm going to take these two numbers, 3 and negative 8, and put it them right here. Now, we have two spots left. On those um, empty spots goes simply a coefficient. So, I have a coefficient equals 12, so it goes right here, and it goes right here. Now, we are almost done. What you have to pay attention on these two things, those are fractions. You see this division bar? So. We are looking at those two fractions, and we are going to reduce them. Uh, 12 over 3 is actually 4 over 1. So this is the fraction in a reduced form. Uh, 12 over negative 8 is 3 over negative 2. And we are done because uh, look at what we are going to do. Uh, this top, uh, so each fraction is going to fill in uh, the binomial. So, for example, for this binomial, this fraction, this binomial, this fraction. What you, what you see on the top is going to be coefficient of x. What you see on the bottom is going to, it's positive, it's positive 1, so it's plus 1. For the next one, on the top you see 3 is going to be coefficient of x. And you see negative 2, you just put it negative 2 right here. And uh, we are done this factoring. This is the answer. The only thing is it's very wise to double check if this is correct. How we are going to do it? We are going to foil it back. And if after we are going to multiply these two binomials, we are going to go back to this trinomial, everything is fine. So let's check. We are going to multiply first terms first. 4x times 3x. Oh, but this is 12x squared, and this is good. Last terms. 1 times negative 2 should give me negative 2, and it does. 
Now, uh, the last thing is we are going to multiply the outer terms, which is 4 times negative 4x times negative 2, which is negative 8x. And we are going to multiply the inner terms right here, which is um, 1 times 3x. What we are going to get, we are going to get uh, this is 3x and this is negative 8x. All together, if you add them up, if you add them up, it's going to give you negative 5x. It's exactly our middle term. So we did everything correctly and uh, our method works. Next, in the next video, I'm going to show you several more examples. And right now, I would like to thank the person uh, who actually um, represented this method for me first. I found it on the YouTube, and it's called um, the Kimmel's Asterisk. And um, this method is very bright and uh, very good one. And I just adapted it and probably um, voiced it out and make it more meaningful. So hopefully you enjoy it and uh, you're going to use it.